assalamu alaikum students this is miss lela hassan and as i have promised you that i will be making up the video of introduction to set theory which was given as an assignment earlier prior to april 22nd question number 4 part a so i wanted to read the question and i have also copied down the question uh, on another piece of paper and as the question stated that you have to do alternate parts for example if you have done question number 4 part a part 1 then you have to do 3 then 5 and then 7 but uh, some of the parts like 2 and 4 i have decided to do it in front of you in this video so this is the question and we have also added uh, this Part because it was incompletely written in the question. Okay, so now let's get on to the question. <clears throat> Solution of this question. Okay, now let's start. As it says that the universal set, acha, this is written in tabular form, uh, set build form. I'm so sorry, but I have also written down for you uh, the whole. Uh, universal set set A and set B into tabular form, and I've also created the set, uh, the Venn diagram in front of you. So let's start with this. The question says that the universal set X is such that this is how we read it. X is an integer such that X is greater than one but lesser than twenty, and then the brackets are closed. Set A X. Is such that x is an even number such that x is greater than seven but lesser than four fifteen. B x is such that that x is a whole number. X is greater than one but it is lesser than eighteen. Now that's a set builder form and this is how we read it. And how we have written the uh, tabular form? Obviously, the numbers that are greater than one. But less than twenty, all are written here in the universal set. Universal set means all the elements are present in the universal set. Uh, set A is such that it is greater than seven, but less than fifteen, and the number and it is even numbers. So therefore, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen are the numbers that belongs to set A and B. It is such that x is greater than one, but less than eighteen. Therefore, total. Seventeen. The elements are written for set B, and also I've created a Venn diagram for your better understanding. Uh, and it is a two-set Venn diagram. Universal set A, because there is an intersection of A, ten, twelve, fourteen. These four elements are are of part set A and set B, and uh, part set B includes two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and as eighteen and nineteen are a part of universal set, but it does not belong to either part A or part B, set A or set B. So this was actually the introduction regarding question number four. Yes, we read the question. We saw the question as a set builder form. We saw that it as a tabular form, and we also. observed it in the venn diagram right so this was the part 1 regarding uh, this question and part 2 of uh, part 2 of the same video will be regarding the solutions of the parts of the question thank you people i hope you are going to put up effort as equal as your teachers are putting up to thank you so much